What's up guys, this is Alex bringing you the UFO location which comes with the alien blaster in Fallout 4. So what I did was I fast traveled to this radio station, radio tower up here. Looks like 35M8 UT. And then I ended up seeing the UFO crash over my head. So the event occurred and I did not have to go to Vault 75 or go near it. And I don't really know that's at anyway, but I'm pretty sure it's not right here. So I spawned in here, fought some of those big bloodlusts, used my little Pikmin's knife and just stabbed them. Then decided to walk down this hill and then go by this factory. Now when I went by the factory, that is when this thing spawned in. So run down here, there's a factory right there. And then for me, this is when this thing spawned in. Um, time of day, later at night, because you'll see it whiz past you, kind of blue streaks behind it. It probably has to be close to nighttime, just because otherwise you might not see it during the day. So here is this factory right here. And I'm just walking along, minding my own business, and what was this? What was that? It's a spaceship. I did, I did not see that coming. I was just walking around trying to do that mission and the spaceship just flies by me like it's a UFO. So, I followed it for a while and this thing crashed at Oberlin Station, which is actually pretty far, so I would just say fast travel there. Don't walk all the way there because I just told you where it's at. You don't have to go looking for it. So, once you spawn in here, run towards the woods and you'll see the, uh, the trees on fire. There we go, as it came from that direction, so it crashed right there. So then I was just kind of just checking out the crash site, seeing if anything fell off it, if I should look for anything. So here's the ship right here. Boom, it's a UFO. Straight into the ground, pretty pointy. Actually, this thing's really pointy, like it's pointed everywhere. There's that green stuff on the ground, I mean, it's probably not important. So I just kept looking around following the uh, crash marks here you can see where it smacked into the ground and then the fire just started going everywhere it's very evenly placed I must say so then after that I'm thinking there was probably an alien because there you know in Fallout 3 there was one so there's probably one here and yes there was that is actually alien blood right there and I just kind of ignored it and then I realized that is alien blood it's not just some random green stuff now initially I thought this guy just burned up in the fire and then noticed more green stuff so maybe just maybe he had to like walk away limping so it has followed this blood you can see it on the ground on the ground on that tree rock ground and then some more on the ground on this fallen tree right before the cave which means he probably went into this cave so find your way to this cave and he will be here on the left. There's nothing over there on the right. So just go over to the left and you will find your alien just chilling by some radio. And then I used Vance, completely missed him. Was not happy at all, so I fear the no-scope is probably the best choice here. So just go for the no-scope and kill your alien. Then go up to him, click on his body, and he'll have an alien blaster pistol. And at least 479 shots. Yes. And there you go, there's the alien blaster pistol. We found our alien and our UFO. And he's in this cave. And that is it. So thanks for watching guys, please seven like. And remember fast travel to Overland Station, don't go chasing it down, it takes a while.